Okay, you know what? Actually, I wanted to give a special shout out to my kids' grandparents. Ari and Coco Kobelman, that's right. Um, I love them so much. And it was Ari's birthday this week. So we've been doing a lot of celebrating of Poppy and that's Grammy. And I have to tell you, they told me that they've been watching the show and they are supremely honest with me. Like when Ari doesn't get something, he just flat out says it. And which is great, because I always know where I stand with them. And they're worldly, and I really trust their opinion and taste. And honestly, I want to make them proud. And they're loving the show. So, hi guys, I love you. Now, do we have any grandparents in our VFFs today? Joyce? Hi, how are you, Drew? Hi, Joyce. How are you? Ari always says there's nothing overrated about being a grandparent. That's one of his famous Isn't quotes. That's true. He's the kind of guy too who everywhere he goes, he walks around and he goes, Isn't this the best? <laughs> it's the greatest it thing. So I call them Grammy and Poppy. Do you have a grandparent nickname? I do. My grandchildren, Alice, Andrew, and Branson, they call me Mimi. <gasps> I asked to be called Gramsci, but they call me Mimi. So one happy Mimi am I. Well, there were definitely pre-existing family members who chose Grammy and Poppy, so I was just lucky to get on the train, and I'm so glad to meet you, Joyce, and thank you for thank sharing. Thank you. See Can my little Mimi song? Oh, oh. <laughs> well, congratulations on being an excellent thank grandparent. You. Thank you, and congratulations on you. Thank show. you, Joyce. All right, we've got a big show today. Helping me close out our second show of the week is a wonderful, sweet, kind, and very funny friend of mine. We were also married once. His name is Tom Green. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a moment. I'm excited to show it with you, share it with you. All right, and we want to shine a light on all the wildflowers out there, all of the girls and women who are breaking down walls and making their own paths to success. And today we meet Sky Brown, who is a young skateboarder, and she is so brave. And man, she's about to tell us something that Trust me, you just don't want to miss it. It blew my hair back. So let's first get into some information about the world we live in. It's time for some Drew's News. <laughs> Sir, ma'am, guy! Ma'am, I asked you a question. It's Drew's News. All right, let's see what made the papers. First, okay, this is actually <laughs> sort of, uh, you know, a very important periodical to me growing up. TV Guide has a section called Cheers and Jeers. And I even talked to a journalist recently and was like, Cheers and Jeers, it's like, you know, it's still out there. And it's in the latest issue of TV Guide. And this week, guess what, guys? I'm so excited to share this with everyone here. Our show made the Cheers section. Phew! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm not kidding, I, I, ugh, phew. We, they, uh, Damien Holbrook said that we had a divinely inspired launch. I mean, this is such a big deal for me. When I was a kid, I would savor my TV guides and I always looked to the cheers and jeers for what was like good or couldn't be missed. And it's a tradition that's still going on. I'm not kidding, I check in regularly about it. So cheers right back at you, Damien and TV Guide. Thank you for the props, it means a lot to us. So I'm so excited for this news I just saw. Father of the Bride's gang is getting back together. Today, Netflix is dropping Father of the Bride, eh, we'll call it part three. Steve Martin, Diane Keaton, Kimberly Williams, Paisley Martin Short, Kieran Culkin, and Nancy Myers, the writer-director herself, they're all back, and the reunion is benefiting World Central Kitchen, who happens to be with friend of the show, Jose Andres. That's right, changing the world he is. And a fun fact, I have the DVD in our really old ancient minivan, and I play the movie for the kids all the time, and to this day, I get very verklempt every time Steve Martin is doing his voiceovers, because obviously I can't be watching while I'm driving, but I hear him talking about the house they grew up in and how it's like cool in the summer and warm in the winters, and anytime you hear a father talking about their daughter this way, I mean, I'm just telling you, oh, it's so good. So I'm gonna be checking that out. Maybe you can too. Uh, okay, I don't mean to stress you out, but we're almost 
almost a month away from Halloween. Have you thought of a costume? Have you thought of one for your guinea pig? Well, don't freak out yet because Pop Sugar has posted a guide to PetSmart's fun and affordable costumes for all your furball friends. Oh, you don't have a guinea pig? Oh, you don't care? Well, we're gonna look at all these photos anyway. All right, first up for our traditionals, here's a lovely pumpkin boy. Oh, hi, pumpkin boy. There you are. Oh, yeah. And then there's Unicorn Princess. Look at her. And there's also a bumblebee and a lobster and a baby dino. Look at these cuties. Oh, and here's one more costume I wanted to show you guys. Oh, there you are. Hi. I'm telling you, we, we're running Wild Kingdom at my house. Like, my kids are always like, you know, Especially, Olive's nickname is literally Ace Ventura. We're actually gonna do a segment called Dr. Drew Little. Because, <laughs> let's face it, when your kids get pets, you get pets. All right, so this one, I got the hot dog. By the way, this is Daisy, she's a boy. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna turn Daisy into a wiener. Condiments. All the fun in the world. Daisy, thank you so much. You're just the best. Thank you, Daisy. Yeah, give it up for Daisy!